स्टूडेंट्स आप कुछ बात करेंगे अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मिनिमम हैमिंग डिस्टेंस स्टूडेंट्स द मिनिमम हैमिंग डिस्टेंस इज द हैमिंग डिस्टेंस द स्मॉलेस्ट हैमिंग डिस्टेंस बिटवीन ऑल पॉसिबल पेयर्स ऑफ कोड वर्ड्स स्टूडेंट्स वी रिप्रेजेंट दिस बाय द इटैलिक लोअर केस इटैलिक डी एंड सब्सक्रिप्ट मेन सो डी मेन इज इक्वल टू एस प्लस वन इज हाउ वी फाइंड आउट दिस मिनिमम हैमिंग डिस्टेंस वेयर the s is the number of code words that we can detect using this minimum hamming distance and the d min is the actual minimum hamming distance students in this example as you can see we have got a coding scheme that has got a, a minimum hamming distance of 4 and we need to know how how many errors um, can this code actually detect so students what's given in this case is once again d min is equal to 4 we know that our minimum hamming distance is equal to the number of detectable errors that this code guarantees plus 1 students in this case our s is is going to be d min minus 1 and as you can see uh, this is equal to 4 minus 1 is 3 and your s is equal to 3 so students if you have got a coding scheme or if you have got a block code that is what we are talking about the block code if you've got a block code which has got a minimum hamming distance of 4 it means that this block code guarantees error detection for up to 3 bits in a code word students this was our concept of uh, minimum hamming distance ab students kuch baat karenge about the linear block codes students linear block codes is a subset of block codes and in this particular case there is a unique property and that unique property is that the exclusive or xor of two code words in linear codes that exclusive or of two code words actually gives us uh, another valid code word i'll repeat it once again the linear block code is a subset of block codes in which there is a specific property and the property is that if you do an exclusive or between two code words in the linear uh, block code you will get a third uh, code word which is a valid code word in that linear block code scheme as well on the slide you can see that we have got a code which is a linear block code once again and how do we test that we can test that by for example in this case if we do an exclusive or between 0 11 the second code word and the third code word which is 101 the result comes out to be the fourth code word which is 110 so this um, code is an example of linear block code students we went through the concept of minimum hamming distance as well to is block code mein dekhiyega ki the number of ones in non zero code words all the non zero code you have got three non zero code words the number of ones in this first non zero code words code word is 2 let's look at the second non zero code word the second uh, the number of ones is again 2 and then you have got two out here so the minimum number of ones in the non zero code words is always 2 it does not get any lower than that so students the minimum hamming distance for this particular example which is once again your d min that is equal to 